Hello, welcome back to the channel. It is Dan Nocturne Knives, and today I've got a short little unboxing to bring you of a knife that I thought was really cool. I was excited to pick up, and I'm glad it has come pretty quickly. So if you'll be able to see here, this is from CSI, and if you don't know who that is, that's Cutlery Shop. I don't know what the I stands for, but I'm going to assume the CS stands for Cutlery Shop. I'll be opening it with this Spyderco PM2, if that gives anything away. This is the Matic. Alright. Okay, got a sweet cutlery shop flight tag kind of thing. Very cool. That's one of them to include. They always include, yeah, there we go, a couple lollipops. That's super nice. Some Tootsie Pops. They always do that. I've been ordering from cutlery shop for years and they always do stuff like that, it's fun. And here is what we have. It is a Spyderco, not surprising. A pin, well, interesting, okay. That's cool, they give you a pin and a card. Here is some cutlery shop information. As I said, I've been ordering from them for years and would highly recommend. They always ship super fast. They're very nice to deal with. Stay sharp. And here, this this gives it away. Spyderco PM2 Warncliffe Cutlery Shop exclusive. I'll put those up there. So I saw this pop up. I got a notification or something like that from the Spyderco app a couple days ago, and I was like, okay, that's I definitely something I need to get. Cutlery Shop had a Warncliffe exclusive, I think a few years ago, that sold out really quick, and I've seen some of them floating around, and they always looked so cool. I love that Warncliffe blade style, so when I saw one come back, I was like, I gotta get on this. And here we go, this one is cool because it's all black, totally blacked out. Here's some literature, I'll open that up, you can pause if you would like to read. Product guide as usual, Spider Coast sticker, don't have that one, very nice. And here is the knife. So, standard PM2, standard construction, got black G10, all black hardware, all black liners, compression lock clip and everything, but this one has the Warncliffe blade, unlike the standard PM2. I'll give you a comparison. Here's your standard PM2 kind of modified clip point kind of thing, and then here is your Warncliffe blade. They are calling this informally the Batwing or the Batman knife or something like that, and I'd say it makes sense. You got some Batwing vibes out of the blade with an all black it seems really nice the action straight out of the box is actually quite good i mean it's falling all the way shut it's not fast but it wants to drop all the way and open i have to really wrench on it to get any play and even then there's only a tiny bit yeah there's really no there's really no play that's solid okay this is really nice out of the box Actually, usually, a lot of times the PM2 will come, and they're just a little stiff, a little slow, out of the box, but this one, really nice, actually. Real quick, I'm going to go ahead and flip this clip around. Yeah, this is really sweet. I am very happy with this. The DLC coating on this... Looks really nice, really clean. It's got just a little, it's got a really nice, smooth, almost glossy texture to it. It's not matte finish, but it's also not shiny or anything like that. Just looks really nice, really smooth. See this interesting blade shape, this, this cool worn cliff. It's got kind of one line here and then it dips down to the blade in kind of an, an arc. Again, really happy with the action. Very nice out of the box. Excellent. The flick, Spidey flick is great. Yeah, like, no blade play. Really good. The thumb flick, just fine. Yeah, so Spidey flick is nice. Thumb flick, just fine. The detent is right about, I'd say, medium for PM2 pair 3s. Not on the snappy side or anything, but pretty decent. I'll go ahead and give you a size comparison, I guess, even though this is kind of the size comparison knife. Here it is up next to a PM2 and here's a pair of three. There you go. 
So that's an interesting size comparison, I'm sure. Haven't seen that one before. I guess I'll do a few others, might as well, while I have it here. Here's a Hinder X-18, here's a TRM Atom, Atom and, and Para 2, or PM2, kind of in the same category, EDC, slicey, pretty light, stuff like that. Here's another all blacked out knife, Protec Malibu. You can see in terms of blade length coming in just shy in terms of overall length, but slightly more cutting edge. There you go. I feel like we don't need to do more size comparisons than that because this is the size comparison knife, isn't it? Yeah, out of the box, this thing is nice. I mean, the centering is nearly spot on. I think it's just slightly over towards the show side, but it's close, and I bet I could fix that up. Yeah, I'm really happy with this. The edge out of the box feels nice. The grind feels really thin. I'll go ahead and measure that. Coming in right about... 195 thousandths, just under 20 thousandths, which is fine. It'd be really cool if this thing was coming in at like 15 thousandths, but as it is, no issue. I would say it's just fine. And with it being slightly thicker, you can have just a little more strength up at that thin tip. And how gradual the grind is, because it's so tall, still going to cut just fine. Like, with my regular PM2, this thing cuts really well, despite not being the thinnest. Cuts really well with that gradual flat grind. I'll go ahead and take a look at how sharp it is. So I've got phone book paper, and as is typical for Spyderco, it is quite sharp. No problems there. Yep, that's really sharp. Get some S cuts. Very easy. And that Mourncliffe blade is so cool. It's just really easy to get a precise cut all the way out to the tip. No belly to go around. And this Warney is straight. This cutting edge is really straight. Absolutely no curve. Very well done. And even in the sharpening, they got back into the plunge grind pretty well. This knife is in the kind of boring S30V, but it's been a long time since I've had a spider cone S30V. So I'm interested to try it out, see how it does. I had a, a regular PM2 way back many years ago. It was satin blade camo G10 handle. That was an S30V and I really liked that knife. Ended up selling it because it was a bit too big for me at that time. But after getting this Smoky Mountain Knife Works exclu exclusive, it kind of reignited my love for the PM2. So I definitely wanted to jump on this one. And this M4 has been great. It's been holding an awesome edge. This factory edge has been going really nicely. I've strapped it up a few times and I've cut through a lot of car cardboard with this, just testing it out. And if you're wondering, this is the Smoky Mountain Knife Works exclusive with Arctic Storm Carbon Fiber M4 blade steel. And I've got Rips Garage Tech Clip on it, homemade micarta compression tab, and then Rock Scale Designs Backspacer. And for this knife, I already have some cool stuff coming. I have some Rock Scale Design scales. I have a backspacer and a lynch clip coming to put on this, so I'm really excited about all that stuff. Hopefully it will be coming in this week, and I can make a video putting all those on and showing it off and everything. I think that is all I have for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you found it interesting. If you did, please don't forget to go down, hit that like button, subscribe button, drop a comment. Let me know what you think about the Batwing PM2. I feel like this blade will be a little bit polarizing for people in terms of aesthetics, so I'd love to know what you think about it. Do you like it or do you hate it? I love it. I love a weird Spyderco profile, so this is totally up my alley. Anyway, thank you for watching, and I will catch you on the next one.